Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy in English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, since you know, there has been a lot happening from past 7 to 10 days, right? Because of that, there are a lot of, dis uh, I mean, disturbances in the students, particularly the ones who are going to write the NEET examination in 2025, right? With whatever has been happening from past 5 to 10 days, I believe there will be a lot of questions which will be in your mind at this particular point of time, particularly those students who are going to write the NEET examination in 2025. With whatever has been happening, right, what will be the consequences of those things over the eligibility criteria? What will be the syllabus for the NEET 2025? Will there be any change in the syllabus, right? Uh, what is going to be the age limit? What is going to be the number of attempts? What is going to be the difficulty level of the NEET 2025 paper as well? So in this session, I'm going to talk about all these things one by one, right? Now you must be thinking, you must be thinking, with whatever has been happening from past 10 to 15 days, will there be any change in the eligibility criteria, right? My dear students, one by one, I'm going to discuss all these things with you over here, right? So first of all, if I talk about syllabus, if I particularly talk about syllabus, since your syllabus was changed last year, so it's, it's been almost one year that your syllabus has been changed, right? My dear students, every year syllabus cannot be changed. Syllabus is changed after every 5 to 10 years, right? So that is the gap which is kept. So first of all, all those students who will be having this particular question in their mind, whether there will be a reduction or increase in the syllabus, there will be no change in the syllabus. There'll be no change in the syllabus. Whatever was your syllabus in the NEET 2024, right? Whatever was your syllabus as far as PCB, when it comes to NEET 2024, same is going to be your syllabus for the NEET 2025 examination. So question number one, whether there will be change in the syllabus, no way, there are no change going to be in the syllabus, right? And over here, I would tell you just one thing, please and please follow the new NCRT from now on, right? Leave the old NCRT aside, follow the new NCRT from now onwards, okay? Point number one. Point number two, what has to be the age limit? Since, you know, since a lot of students, since a lot of students are appearing day on day in the NEET examination, right? In the year 2023, there were almost 21 lakh students who appeared. In the year 2024, uh, 24 lakh students appeared in the examination due to which you saw uh, that is one of the reasons why cutoff is increasing. That is one of the, that's not the only reason. That's one of the reasons why cutoff keeps on increasing day, day on day, right? And due to that increase in cutoff, you know, lot of, lot of, lot of things uh, are happening from past, uh, past five to 10 days, right? Now, will, will the NMC, will the LM, NMC uh, do any changes in the age limit so that number of aspirants will decrease? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Number of aspirants, they will keep on increasing continuously right? They'll keep on increasing. If this year, 24 lakh students appeared in the examination, next year, definitely 20, uh, almost 26, 27 lakh students are going to appear in the examination, right? So people, if I talk about the age limit, if I talk about the age limit, let me tell you all those students who do not know, let me tell you minimum age limit, minimum age, minimum age, right? What is that? My dear students, before, before 31st December, I'm talking to those students who are going to write the NEET examination in 2025. So before 31st December 2025, before 31st December 2025, you should be, you should be of the age 17 years. You should be of the age 17 years, right? Then only you are eligible for the NEET 2025 examination, okay? This is the lower age limit, my dear students or all the ones who are going to write the NEET examination in 2025, right? So basically, before 31st of December 2025, you should turn 17. You should turn 17. If it is less than that, then you are not eligible, right? To write the NEET examination, okay? I mean, you can write the NEET examination, but the scores, etc., etc., that won't be counted, right? That, that, does, that does not make any sense there. Okay, what is the upper age limit? Upper age limit, as you know, it can be anything. There is, I mean, there is no upper cap basically when it comes to the NEET examination. A student who will be of the age 26, someone who will be of the age 30, even 40, 45, all of them can write the NEET examination. There is no upper cap when it comes to the NEET examination in terms of age limit, right? Number of attempts, you know, it is infinite. You can write as many attempts as possible, right? When it comes to the NEET examination. So there are 
there are no finite atoms over here no finite atoms now the most important point that is going to be the difficulty level of the NEET 2025 examination since you know whatever has been happening from past 10 15 days right okay cut off increasing number of more students appearing etc etc perfect paper level was decreased right there were some questions like you had a question in physics uh, i mean wherein two answers were given correct first one answer was given then in the revised answer key they gave two answers correct right so basically the paper level of this year's need examination of need 2024 was comparatively easy was comparatively easy now now if nta is going to conduct the need 2025 examination then my dear students difficulty level of the need 2025 examination is going to be comparatively more it is going to be comparatively more than that of 2024 so basically you can expect more conceptual paper here in the 2025 examination it will be more conceptual it will be more conceptual right why is that because definitely nta if is the conducting body if nta is the one managing the examination then definitely they would want from the next year the cutoff should not go this much high right you know due to the increase in cutoff what all things keeps keep on happening then right they would never want to do that again so definitely the paper is going to be conceptual when it comes to your uh, physics chemistry biology right uh, or you can say something like this you can say now more questions will be asked from the difficult chapters for example if i talk about my subject chemistry in, in chemistry uh, as per student's perspective as per student's perspective your thermodynamics your equilibrium your electrochemistry they are considered to be comparatively tough now more questions can be asked from the tough chapters right due to which due to which the level of the examination will automatically raise a bit and cut off will automatically go down a bit right so if i talk if you ask me as per my experience what is going to be the difficulty level of the need 2025 examination it is definitely going to be slightly more than that of need 2024 examination the paper is definitely going to be conceptual right so the way students had been preparing for the aims examination before uh, i mean i'm pretty much sure all of you would have seen the earlier aims examinations right aims used to be a different exam first right like few years back aims used to be a different examination just check the level of that paper how that paper level used to be right you have to i mean you have to prepare in the similar manner so expect expect more assertion reasoning questions as expect more assertion reasoning questions when it comes to the need 2025 examination so please and please take care of all these things perfect so i believe all these questions which were in your mind till now i believe they'll be clarified from this particular video right and people at the same time at the same time, the ones who want to prepare, you are most welcome to join the Phoenix 2.0 Neat English Batch, right? Okay, the link is there in the description. That's at minimal cost. I'm personally training those students. Yavar sir is training in physics. Ambika Mam is training in biology. Test series, study material, everything is included there in that particular batch, right? Everyday class are happening. Perfect. You guys can join in. You can watch live sessions, recorded videos. The choice is all yours. And by joining this particular Phoenix 2.0 Neat English Batch, whose link is there in the description box, right? You'll be having the access to all the other batches of an academy at the same time, right? So you guys can join in uh, the Phoenix 2.0 Neat English Batch, where we are personally going to take care of all the things, right? What are the requirements for the computer examination to be cracked with a very, very, very high score? All those things are taken into consideration in that particular batch. So with this, I'm ready to leave. Take care. God bless you all. And Love you all, guys. Bye-bye.